Welcome to today's webinar. For those that don't know my face, I'm Megan Twentyman, the brand manager here at Soft Solutions. And on the webinar today with me, you can see some lovely smiling faces. I've got Lin Jiang, who is the Yealink Microsoft Channel Account Manager. Um, I've also got Rita Zhang, who is a solution architect at Yealink, so much more technical than I am, which is fantastic. And then we've got our local superstars, Julie and Lyndon, on the line with us as well. So everyone's going to be available to answer questions that you may have. Um, so feel free to pop questions into the question box or the chat. You should see a little question mark on your little panel there um, throughout. And we will answer those towards the end of the webinar. We are going to try and stick to our bite-sized format, um, which we're obviously familiar with. But there's quite a bit of data, so it will be slightly longer today. Um, but I think you'll find the information really useful. So we'll just crack on and um, Lynn and Julie and Rita and Lyndon will zip off our screens, but they will be back um, at the end for the questions. Fantastic. Right, so what's on the agenda today? So we are having an overview of Yealink and their relationship with Microsoft, looking at the team's room systems for both Windows and Android, um, looking at tools for management and scoping, um, what the training is available, what that sales opportunity looks like for you, where and how to keep up to date, and then as I said, we will wrap with the Q&A that you're all familiar with. So today's webinar is about rebuilding your meeting space. This has never been more relevant than what it is now. So who is Yealink? They are a global UC provider. They specialize in audio, video, and collaboration, $10 billion plus company. And as you would have seen in our June webinar, um, Yealink has leading products across all categories. Um, they're present in over 140 plus countries and their support team are just fantastic. And I, for one, at Soft Soul, is, I am really enjoying working with the team from China. So Microsoft Partnership goes back as far as 2015 for Yealink. So that was back to Link for those of us that are old enough to remember what was pre-Skype for Business um, and has now become Microsoft Teams. Yealink are a Microsoft Gold communications partner. And as you can see, Yealink has partnered with Microsoft for that entire period and they are a number one partner with Microsoft as outlined. So how does Yealink continue to innovate? They really invest in research and development. More than 50% of Yealink staff are engaged in technical and R&D work. This is a huge investment and this really shows in the products. They have over 30% growth in the R&D investment year on year. And as you can see, they will continue to lead with innovation because of this huge investment. Yealink are a global business. They have premium customers across the globe and their products scale for all segments of the market. It doesn't matter whether you're an SMB or whether you are up in the enterprise, those products scale. So Yealink is your one-stop Microsoft Teams shop. Um, I showed the slide in our June webinar and I think it's really relevant. Kudos to the companies that have specialized that's fantastic. The key thing when you move into other categories is that you intend to be the best in those categories and Yealink releases products that are great across all of the categories and they all work well together, so that's really important. So now we get to the massive Microsoft Teams portfolio that is Yealink. So as you can see on the slide here, we have everything from desk phones, to Teams room systems for VC. Um, we've got a new conference phone up the top there coming out soon. Um, and we also have meeting boards, which um, Julie just mentioned for those that were joining us at the beginning, that the first one has just hit New Zealand. So I'm pretty excited to see that in the uh, coming days. Um, <clears throat> And that's all new innovation as well. We have new products coming all the time. So there is the Desk Vision, which is coming out. We've got a Room Sensor coming out. And we covered the headsets in quite a lot of detail in June, particularly how they integrate with 3CX. 
There's lots of add-ons and peripherals. You can see it's a really broad portfolio and these products are all Microsoft Teams certified. So that just shows that close partnership between Yealink and Microsoft. So now we're gonna dig into Teams room systems on Windows. Okay, the units are designed for certain size spaces. As you can see from this slide, they're designed for a specific kind of size range and they will scale accordingly to what you require. It's really important that you have a consultative conversation with your partners. Clients need to look at the challenges within their spaces. You know, do they have a lot of external glass with glare? Do they have cathedral ceilings? Um, do they have to have their meeting room table clear at all times? You know, that's when you can consider things like ceiling microphones, so even if it's a small space, sometimes you need a different system to meet the requirements of the room. So that's where consultative conversations become so essential and so critical and are what lock your customers through to you. Now we are here to support you with that as are Yealink locally here in New Zealand and in China and we'll talk about that a little bit further on in the presentation as well. One of the keys to Microsoft Teams Room Systems from Yay Link is that they are easy for deployment, one cable, and that is you know, really different to the competing products. Um, even with some customers, having one cable is a barrier for them. They don't want any cables. You can do things like have the controller at the front of the room. Um, what customers need to understand, and this comes back to your expertise and sharing with your customer, is that you've got to be able to control a meeting somehow. So each meeting needs to be controlled and that's what the controller is for. And it doesn't matter what the system is. Customers' perception of what technology is, is often different to what reality is. So really important that you use your expertise and our expertise to help you with your customer conversations. Content sharing is a really important part of a system setup. You need to think about how the room's going to be used, how the staff are wanting to share information. So, you know, there's wired options for sharing. There's also wireless options for sharing. We just need to consider what it is that the customer wants to achieve and what the specific purpose of their room is. We have some customers that have multiple rooms set up in different ways with Yealink Teams room systems. So camera control is always really, really important. And the fact that Yealink system is really easy and it's nice controls that you can follow along with makes life really simple for the user because that's what it's all about is these systems just need to work seamlessly and we want that to happen for them. So it makes it easy for you as their trusted IT reseller. A key thing with Microsoft Teams Room Systems, particularly on the Windows platform, is how flexible that audio option can be. So you saw in the first slide that we can buy kits which are complete, they have everything. Or you can actually buy what we call a core system and then you can configure it as you need it to be. So you start with a core system and you might add the ceiling speakers for example or you might add some wireless speakers to it or whatever you need so it's really important that you have that consultative conversation and find out what the customer wants to use the system for and then we configure a system that's going to meet all of their requirements sometimes you take a kit and add to the kit sometimes you take the core system and build it up from there so it's about looking at what those options look like and how we can help you to help your customers. So we have a brand new camera that's uh, come out recently, which is the UVC86, which is the latest release from Yealink. The speaker tracking in this is phenomenal um, and a key feature of the product. They have more innovations coming and being added to solutions via firmware upgrades, etc., as well. Um, so there's a lot of innovation happening and that goes back to that R&D that we talked about earlier. Um, the MTR space is quickly developing and with the hybrid workplace that we have today, it's becoming an essential part of everybody's businesses.
So the AV Hub is for large or very large systems, and what it allows you to do is actually have a mix of cameras. You can have both the UVC 84 and the UVC 86 connected, um, which gives you different options and settings. You can have third-party USB audio that can be added, and lots of functionality. I won't go into too much detail because now's not the um, forum for that, but we can definitely take those conversations offline and talk to people like Rita and Lyndon who have all that technical expertise to see what your customer wants and whether it is possible. So Android is not forgotten. Android is a really important part of the solutions and there are some really cool solutions and we see a lot of these moving through. Um, you've got meeting bars, you've got the boards, which um, as you heard, the first ones just um, arrived here in country. Um, and we have the room panels, which is up on the top left of the screen there. The room panels are actually available for Zoom and Teams um, and a great way to see if a meeting room is available, book it, start your meeting, those types of things. So as you heard me say, the meeting bars are incredibly popular. The A20, which is for a smaller size room, and the A30 for a slightly larger room, are an all-in-one bar. So they have your camera and your audio all in there together. We have a current promotion, which includes the VCH51, which is a sharing box, which enables your BYOD mode. It's an excellent cost saving. It is only valid till the 31st of July, but I'm trying to twist Lynn's arm to extend that further into Q3 for us because it has proved to be extremely popular. So as I mentioned, we have the promo. There are other ways to share content. So you obviously have a wired solution or you can have a wireless solution as well. Um, some organisations need both. They need multiple presenters. So again, it comes back to your consultative conversation about how people want to use the room and what they anticipate the purpose of that room will be and how they conduct their meetings. They know how they run their businesses. We just need to understand that and assist them with making it all possible. So one of the cool things with the Android um, systems is all the various features built into the cameras. So you can see four specific features here and you'll see there's a bit of uh, movement happening there in the images. So you've got things like auto framing, speaker tracking, which is really important, picture in picture options and multi-focus framing. Now all four of these are available on the A20. Um, for the A30, um, you can't, due to the dual camera, you can't have the multi-focus option happening at this point in time. But these are really good features and you can see it's all very clear and these have been taken over at Yealink in their setup meeting rooms. So noise cancellation is always a really important thing. We see it from um, headsets to IP phones and room systems are no different. Um, there's nothing more distracting when you're on the other end of a meeting and you can hear somebody else in that meeting going click, 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 click on their keyboard. Um, really, really irritating. Um, but the noise cancellation that is built into the meeting bars is fantastic um, and it eliminates a lot of that distracting additional noise. Things to talk about with customers is where to position the meeting bars. You can see in this image it's actually above the TV. The TV is quite low on the wall. If you have a really large TV, you're more likely to position that meeting bar underneath so that it's kind of directly across from people rather than looking down at some poor person's bald spot on the top of their head, which is always my little joke. Um, flexibility of the room setup is really, really important. So this is the all new meeting board 65 that I cannot wait to actually have a play with. So the first one, as Julie said, has just arrived in New Zealand um, and I will set up a session for people to come in and have a look at that um, when I can pry it out of Julie's hands for that purpose. Um, what you need to think of the, this as is your TV with your Android meeting bar built in together and then you add a whiteboard to it because we've got whiteboard mode and it opens up possibilities for meeting spaces. If I had an endless budget, I know that one of these would be going into two of our four meeting rooms um, ourselves, but I think I need to focus on actually selling these to our customers. Um, but the possibilities are just endless and it is a fantastic solution that we're looking forward to being able to share and sell here in New Zealand. 
So the wee room panel, um, I touched on this earlier for starting your meeting, booking a last minute meeting. You can install it on multiple surfaces, so there's no issues with that. Um, and it's part of your room config and solution, basically. I, I want one just because I think they're really cool. Um, we do have a promo on these, um, so they are on special pricing, so they are in our um, promos, um, which is part of our weekly newsletter, but reach out to me if you want more information as well. And as I said earlier, whilst this is a Microsoft Teams presentation, um, they are also available for Zoom. So looking at tools, um, things that we need to think about. Okay, so most of you will be familiar with Yealink Device Management Service. Um, so this is where you can manage all of your solutions under one umbrella. This is really important for IT admins. And you know, when you've got phones out there, you've got headsets out there, you've got meeting room systems out there, you want to check that everything's working okay. Being able to manage that from the Yealink Device Management Server is service is just fantastic so I would highly recommend that if you don't have a login you get one and if you don't have the link we will share that link with you. This is my all-time new favourite tool which is the room configurator tool. Um, this is where you can actually have a play and we will share this link in the follow-up email that comes out tomorrow along with the recording of this webinar. Um, so you can actually build your room system. So you can go, I've got a small room, I've got a medium room, what am I going to do with it? And you can start actually selecting entire kits or parts of cores and then adding to them. And basically you work through through a step-by-step -step module um, and you get to the end and you are presented with your kit that you've put together, so what you need to quote or order, a wiring diagram, a seating diagram, you can save that proposal, then you can start over and configure something slightly differently and see how that looks. It's a really, really good way of seeing how the technology comes together, what can be added to what, um, and you know, just because you've got a medium room doesn't mean you might not use a large room system because it's a challenging room, something like that. But this tool, we will share this link with you as well. Definitely have a play. Um, it just shows you how amazing this technology is and how it can be configured. So as I mentioned earlier, um, Yealink invest into the R&D massively. They also invest in having rooms set up where they can actually do some demonstrations for you. So you can actually contact us and we will arrange to book a live demo for you or you and your customer with Yealink. Or we might even say, look, you know, we've got people on the webinar today and everybody's going, look, we'd love to have a look at one of these systems and we can set up a time um, you know, as soon as next week to run through a live demo. So it's where Rita, for example, can actually sit in there with the equipment and walk us through how it all works and how it's configured. So it really does make it very interactive and very useful. So do reach out to us if you want to look at this and um, book a live demo. So Yalink have developed their own training certifications and they've just revamped them a little bit as well. So there were some slightly different names and they've just been updated. So there's several different um, certifications. The ones that I'm focused on here are the technical professional and the sales specialist. Um, on my to-do list, I need to do it as well. So I challenge you all to um, get certified, um, share your certificate and the fact that you've done it on LinkedIn, tag us in and I guarantee you'll get some surprise gift of some description. Um, it's a really worthwhile um, exercise for you. It shows your customers that you understand the Yealink and Microsoft Teams solutions. Um, I would highly recommend that you um, have a look at this with your teams. So just to recap, um, how comprehensive Yealink service offerings are. We've got a ticketing system, you've got the room configurator, we can organise live demos, there's the academy which is that technical training or sales training and they've also got their resource centre. You know they invest really heavily in sharing information with their customers and if you're like me um, and you visit their website a lot you'll notice that they're updating it all the time and it's getting better and better every time I look at it with more information and resources available. So there is Microsoft Teams room training in New Zealand. Um, so one key thing here is most of you would be familiar with a Teams room. Um, 
there are companies, and I can say that our company's been guilty of it in the past as well, is they set up a room as a person as opposed to a team's room. So, um, you know, there are specialised trainings available around this. Um, there are some recordings from trainings run earlier in the year, and again, we'll share these links in the follow-up email. And then Microsoft have some other training um, pages which have really useful information on them as well. And the Q2, or Q3 and Q4, second half of the year, dates for more training are being set. So keep watching our newsletters and our information around when those are coming up because they are well worth getting your technical team um, to attend. So looking a little bit more at the sales opportunity, as I've mentioned, um, hybrid work is here to stay. Um, you know, we're all familiar with that. What it means is that you end up with some people that are remote, some people that are in the office, they need to do um, have a meeting with a group of people, and it's like, how do you make that all happen? That's where these systems become really, really important. Um, and businesses are looking at their meeting spaces and going, how do they work for our team today? Because our teams have changed and the way we work is different. Um, key thing is that it needs to be simple. So having something that can just be started with the controller is really, really useful. Um, and you know, it's so important to keep all team members connected. Some of your customers may not even realize what they're missing. They might not realize what's available. So you know, the opportunity is for you to reach out to your customers and update them on the technologies that are available. Um, you know, at the moment, we actually have an outbreak of COVID at our office with team members that predominantly hadn't had it before, um, where everybody's on the road to recovery now, but we had about a third of our staff out all at once. And we suddenly had, you know, some people in meeting rooms together and we we're trying to train. So it's really important to think about how that configuration works. And it gives you that opportunity to have a proactive conversation with your customer. So just a few um, updates on promos and bits and th pieces. Um, there is a deal registration process and I can walk you through that process um, where you can deal register an opportunity for a Microsoft Teams room system and we'll get you a $20 Uber Eats voucher. Close that deal and place the order and you'll get a further $30 Uber Eats voucher. So all up $50. Um, that's a current promotion and it's ongoing. Key thing with pricing around across all Yelling products is we are reliant on the exchange rate of the New Zealand dollar versus the USD. Um, the new NZD is pretty weak at the moment, so um, we're hoping that you know some of the stuff that the government says they're doing to fix those problems um, will happen, and then it will strengthen and prices for us will come down, which will be really good for us. So we have a number of promotions during Q3. Um, these are all listed in our weekly newsletter, but just a quick run through again. We've talked about some of them through this promo. The A20 and, or the A30, and you receive the VCH51 sharing box for BYOD. Ends 31st of July. As I say, we'll try and get that extended. Um, the room panel promotion is a special savings on that. Um, we also have the MP54 or MP56 Teams phone bundles so if you buy five phones the same so five mp54s or five mp56s you'll receive one of the cool bh72 bluetooth headsets for free with that bundle and that is a bundle skew in our system We've also got the um, corded um, headsets, the UH34 or the UH36. You pay for five and you receive six. So that's a great promo as well. We also have access to NFR pricing for you to equip your own office or your team. Um, there are limits and you need to reach out to me to get more information on what that pricing looks like and what those limits are. So you can't come and buy 50 NFR headsets, unfortunately. But if you do need 50, come to us and we'll talk about a deal. Keeping up to date is really, really important. So Yalink have firmware and announcements. If you don't have a Yalink account, definitely sign up. We'll share this link. Turn on the notifications under the personal center, under my subscriptions. So I get notifications of when firmwares come out, especially if I'm looking for something for a customer. Same tuned to Soft Solutions. We have our VoIP monthly newsletter. The next one's due to go out next week. I just need to finish writing it. Um, we have our weekly newsletter that covers really important news, key events, um, promotions. That's where we have a link for our Yalink promotions. And then we have the Soft Solutions VoIP community group. Now, this is a group that I guard very, very closely. It is only New Zealand partners 
that purchase through soft solutions. We keep vendors out of it. Um, so it is purely myself and one other from soft solutions that manage that group. Um, and that's where I post information first. It's where you can share information or ask questions if you want to, um, but really it is an information source for people to see things first because you know, waiting for a newsletter for a month, it can be on LinkedIn in a few seconds. So that is bringing us to the end of our webinar and um, we are going to open up for questions and answers. Um, so you can do that via the chat or via the question mark that you'll see on your screen there in the controls. Um, so feel free to throw any questions that um, you have there. I know this was very high level overview, um, but the whole purpose of today was really to give you an understanding of the depth and breadth of the Yaylink solutions with Microsoft Teams. Now I'm just going to bring this slide back up onto the screen. Um, because this one has the overview of the family. It covers off the Windows and the Android solutions um, and all the peripherals as well. And I'll invite um, Lynn, Rita, Julie and Lyndon to come back on screen and see if we have any questions or whether they've got any comments as well because um, obviously it's very high level overview as we um, race through this amazing range of products. Okay, I'm just going to start looking in the questions box. Feel free to unmute yourself, Lynn and Rita and Lyndon and Julie, if you have anything else to add. Um, I just like to highlight just... it's not, not raining today, just the weather forecast. <laughs> um, uh, it's but, raining but, um, outside it, my window, Lyndon. <laughs> you're on the wrong side of the bridge. <clears throat> um, That's but exactly I, right. But uh, Julie and I, and um, for Rita and Lynn, um, we do this. Um, day in, day out, Teams room systems, well, and, and Zoom for that matter, but New Zealand seems to be down the Teams trail. But I, yeah, we the common questions when you're talking to your customers about putting a Teams room system in, so many customers or end users think, oh, I just need a webcam and a PC and we're good to go. And we all know that that maybe why well, that used to be okay a few years ago, nowadays, well, it never really worked in the first place. So when you're talking to your customers, you know, there's a few key questions you need to understand when you're first scoping out what the requirement is. And you can see the MTRs down there, the second row. Um, they, and actually, we have one thing to add in that slide is the different size rooms they work with, starting at the bottom, the MBC 400, sits at around six, this is the 40, you know, eight to 10, 648 to 10. 840, 20. So there's a number of people around the table. So the first thing we need to know is how many people are sitting around the table. Um, and you know, we don't even get that information quite often. People would just customers come back and say, Oh, you want a room system? Well, how about just a few more? And then and then the next question is, oh, I want it all to be wireless, as um we we're talking about earlier. Well, unfortunately we can have wireless microphones, but quite often the wireless requirement is we put ceiling mics in. So that means there's nothing on the table, and they, if it's like a, a company who was an architect, and they like to spread the plans out on the table, so the mics were, were hitting the paper, so they put ceiling mics in. They were asking for wireless mics. While we do have wireless mics, the ceiling mic is a, um, a lot more powerful and um, covers a lot larger area, so that works a lot better. So yeah, understand what your customer's requirements are, quiz them on, how they envisage it working. And sometimes you need to actually tell them, and you need to be the expert and step up and say, ah, you need to change the way you book meeting rooms, you know, you need to book it resource and these sorts of things, and that will work well with Teams. Anyway, it's not for me. Have you got any questions? Yep, absolutely. So this one's really for Julie. Hopefully you know what stock's coming through. Um, uh -oh. What is the available? <laughs> <laughs> what is the availability on the meeting board 86, which is the larger oh. one? What stock is on order, do you know? After lugging the, the 65 inch around, I'm kind of thinking there is not going to be an 86. Um, <laughs> it, uh, well, it, it's all on Yaylink. So my understanding is we'll be able to get the 65 shipping probably um, around September, I think, Lynn, would that be fair? When will we get the 65 on a boat? Yes, you are right. Uh, about the 65, uh, you'll be arrived. 
Yeah. And what about the 86 when the satellite went to be available? Well, I mean, the thing is that first 65 cost seven and a half grand in freight to get here on an air order. So Ouch. I'm going to definitely, <laughs> that's why there's only one. So definitely going to be sea freighting them. Um, so, and the 86 is going to be delayed. So I think you'd be lucky to send 86 this side of Christmas, I would have thought. Yep, so we're talking next year, really. Um, yeah. And we're going to start running into all the uh, sea freight issues with Christmas and all those kind of yeah, things yeah, coming up, which um, we're all going to have fun. Um, I mean, the so, other, sorry, sorry to think, wait, the other one in the market, which is very similar, is the NEAT one. So there's, there's certainly partners that are comparing NEAT to Yalink in this space because they're the only two vendors that currently have them in the market. Um, one of the advantages of the Yaling is that we can change the camera, put a gruntier camera on it. We've got wireless mics, uh, the Wi-Fi mics. We can add a touch console, a console onto the table. So there's a lot more flexibility with the Yaling one. But you're welcome to come to the Albany office or we'll go take it into soft solutions or whatever works to have a play. Absolutely. And uh, thanks, Greg, for letting us know that it's raining in Wellington and it's cleaning the gutters. I'm surprised your gutters are still attached. It's been pretty windy down there. Um, and I think it's going to get worse. But um, um, so question here about the ceiling mounted microphones. Um, and I'm assuming, Mike, that you've probably had a bad experience in the past. And the question is around the modern ceiling microphones. So the feedback I've had from customers that have put the ceiling mics in from Yalink is fantastic. Um, they mm -hmm. cover a very wide area um, and we've had them go into some very challenging spaces would be the polite way of putting it. Um, Lyndon, do you have any other comments on the ceiling mics? Um, yes, about 40 square metres mic coverage. So it's quite a large area. Yeah. So it's 10 by 10. Um, it really comes down to... We get them returned, to, don't we? People, people over spec and we get them returned all the time. Yeah. There also there is a relationship in room design. Like if the room is noisy and echoey and those sorts of things, or you've got a fan on the ceiling or air conditioning, it is not you could have a bad experience. So, you know, I, I wish I was hoping you'd show that picture that you showed me earlier uh, of the uh, room with all the with the A30 in it and the table. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just classic yeah. design. Think about the room. Don't be afraid to say the TV's on the wrong wall. Put it over here to get it away from the door. So when people come into a meeting, they come in at the back of the room, not at the front of the room where everybody's already sitting. So room design, back to the ceiling mic, yeah, you have to think about it a bit more, but it can work really well. Um, but if there's a fan or something up there, it's it's not going to work. And there's a lot of echo in the room, like those echoey restaurants, you know, you see, you know, you need to put some polystyrene or put some pot plants, curtains, those things because it's very hard for systems to get rid of that air coat. Yeah, I, I think um, Julie's comment about the um, ceiling mics is a key one because people go, oh yeah, I'll take two or three and we're like, you know, mm. it's 40 feet, like that's a really big meeting room if you want two or three. Most people only need one um, is what we are seeing and it seems really weird because I don't know, in IT we sell everything in pairs so um, I think that's just life really, we sell everything in pairs but um, yeah Mike, the experience from customers is really, really good. Um, yeah, it's got four mics uh, in it already so it's got multiple mics inside the unit, it's quite large. Yep. It's the other thing to mention though is that one of the benefits of the Yalink its range is that we can mix and match solutions. So we've got these bundles depending on a room size, but then also there's absolute flexibility to change those builds. In fact, we're just in the process of putting together a bundle which is the 84 with the ceiling mic, with a PoE switch, with the speakers, because we're getting asked so much for those large rooms with the ceiling mics. So we can totally mix and match your solution. Yeah, the ceiling mics are proving really, really popular since they mm -hmm. um, came out and um, having that flexibility is really important. Um, next question is around the up and coming Desk Vision A24. Um, Lynn, this one's probably more for you. Where do you see your target audience for that unit? Yeah, you're on mute, Lynn.
Can you hear me? We've got you back. Good job. Okay. Could you repeat the question? So the the desk vision A24 that's coming soon, where are you seeing the target audience? Like who's your ideal customer for that one? Okay. I think um this AIL twenty four is Teams displays um, personal use like um, hard desk testing and executive office from from uh, booth and um, I mean not only for executive but also you can use it in the home office. Anyways, very new uh, pr product, and uh, uh, let's look forward to it. Okay, you were cutting in and out a little bit there, Lynn, but it um, sounded like really we're looking at the executive offices, possibly a home office for somebody yeah. um, around yes. that. Um, do we have any time frames on those at all, like release date? Um, I, the that uh, you'll be arrived in. Yep, I we've lost that. you again. That was <laughs> the exciting part. Yeah. That was the exciting bit. Try, try again, Lynn. Your audio is just cutting in and out a little bit. Oh, I think it's, your, now? I think it's your internet. Yeah, try now. When do you think we would see those in New Zealand? Um, within this year. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Julie. It's on. It's on recording. We've got it. So um, once they're in country, Greg, I'll reach out and let you know, um, and we'll see what we're going to do. Like Julie's always trying to bring in one um, of everything new so that we can test it out and see what's going to happen. Um, there's been some challenges with the uh, sea freight that um, I'm sure they go round the world the wrong way. My husband's in shipping, and he would say that's absolutely true. Um, because it's just such a long time for bookings and that kind of stuff. But we will keep you updated as these things are officially released and what their pricing looks like and when we expect to see them in country. And I'm also going to be setting up some days um, for Soft Soul over the next couple of quarters as well, where we can have days and actually get your hands on all of this equipment and have a look at it. So um, fantastic. Okay, any more questions from those that are still on the line? I realise that we've gone over our bite-sized webinar size, but it's good to have the questions coming in. Um, just see, doesn't look like it. I think that's everything. So thank you so much to everybody that joined our webinar today. Thank you to the Yaelink team and the local Yaelink team here in New Zealand. Um, we really appreciate your time in attending um, and we'll get that information out with all those various links um, with a copy of the recording, which will also go to people that registered and weren't able to tune up to the um, webinar today. We know it's school holidays, so it's been a bit challenging for people. Um, but thank you, everybody. Thank you again. And um, we will see you on our next webinar, which I'm already starting to plan for next month for Yaelink. So keep watching this space.